Hello there, everybody, and welcome to part 27 of Super Mario Odyssey. We're finally, finally done with the Seaside Kingdom. After having a little bit of trouble getting all the moons there, admittedly. So, we got a taste of it last time, so now we're heading off to the Luncheon Kingdom. Where I have to show off the Odyssey. Um, leaving this area into the sunset. And then I skip the cutscene. Then we do this. So, Bowser Bowser wants to make a toast using the sparkle water, sparkle water. Sounds like this wedding preparations are moving along. And yes, I already know you know this, but I'm going to read it for you anyway. Well, there it is. We should read up on the Lunching Kingdom next. It says here, this country is famous for using a volcano to prepare a dish called Stupendous Stew. My goodness, they're here! The Spirit Topa Rango Harriet Brutals! I can't even pronounce that <laughs> right without getting my tongue tied up, but yeah! There they are again! Here we are! Here we go again, boys! And we are finally here in the Luncheon Kingdom. And it's like I said, we got a taste of it last time, so now. We can fully immerse ourselves in the flavors and the textures of the Luncheon Kingdom here today. So, yeah, and uh, let's just say I really, really like this kingdom style. Like, Super Mario Odyssey was already unique enough as it is, but man! Look at this, we got like hills filled with salt or sugar or whatever. Um, we got, you know, food enemies. We got those evil little tomatoes over there. That pink sauce is acting as lava. As I, yeah, it acts like the lava hazard here. It's really, this has a very unique style and I love it. I really, really love it. Piled on the salt. Yeah, this is salt. Salt. And I'm going to sacrifice my life to get these, uh, purple coin. I might lose my life apart, but I don't care. Yes. Make me die. For purple coins. But don't worry. There's a way to traverse the, uh, pink stew. You know, there is a way to... There's a way to traverse through the pink stew. Which you have to take control of a potaboo! At least I hope it's called a potaboo this time around. I really hope it is, because that's the thing from Mario World and I love it. Lava bubble. I'm gonna call it potaboo. Lava bubble. Okay, so you gotta take control of the lava bubble. And of course, the lava bubble. Oh my god, did I seriously just die? God, I really suck. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we go. This is it. This is the kingdom where I die. Alright, so take control of the lava bubble again, please. Thank you. Dash faster by shaking the controller. And there you go. Lava bubble will disappear right after you, uh, you know, go on land. Dang, Rango's dead. Ha ha! We stole a pull boatload of this place's stupendous stew, stupendous stew for the boss's wedding chow. But I'm gonna head up back up to the volcano to finish off that stew after I'm done with you! Yep. 
Yeah, spewer it again. Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I didn't know you could use the beans to actually, you know, hit them. That's awesome. But, you know, same rules apply for this boss fight as it did all the other brutals. You know, you bop them on the head three times and then you win, except this time around you have a wider area to deal with, you know, Spirit's poison. And I gotta say, though, he's got wicked hair. Like, the Brutals may be the weakest part of the game, but they got some... But Spirit's got, got like, got, like, wicked hair. Wicked locks. He can get him some girl. Do all the things. And, yeah. Easy as shit. There he goes. He disappears into the void. Never to be heard from again. I don't even think that was the right voice for him. It was more like, He! Yes, indeed! I don't know. I tried to do voices for characters since they have all Mario speaks, but you know what I mean. <laughs> you understand my pain and suffering. Yes, Under the Cheese Rocks is seriously the name of a moon. Under the Cheese! Oh my! What's that smell? Delicious! Big welcome to Mount Volbono! Home of the hugest flavors anywhere! I turn you around, but uh, things are kind of on fire right now. Welcome to Puronza Plaza! The home of the music that has kitchen instruments, for real. Seriously, this music uses kitchen instruments, as you clearly saw in the bottom right. One thing that I really love about Nintendo is that, well, they upload music, how the music was recorded in some of their games, like Mario Kart 8 soundtrack with all the horns and jazz and drums and the guitars and the like. And Mario Odyssey was no exception when using live instruments. And one thing that they really seriously did for the music of Peronza Plaza and the Luncheon Kingdom, and the Luncheon Kingdom's music in general, is use kitchen instruments, like cutting knives on a cutting board, using pans for the cymbals. That's really, really cool, and I really like that. I really like that. Like, this whole kingdom's style is incredible. Like... Look at that. You can see all this food on here. You can see all the eggplants, melons, like all these apples. And it's all done in crystal style, which I... Which is really, really cool. Luncheon Kingdom just basically tops the unique locations list of Mario and all that. And of course, I have a lot more things to say when it comes to uniqueness. Because of a more recent release of a certain video game in a certain beloved RPG series from Mario. But, you know, I'm going to save that for when we eventually, you know, do all the story stuff that we have to do in Mountain Fofono. Because we got things to do. So, yeah, this place is really cool. Like, I, I really like the fact that most of the people are like kitchen utensils. They're like forks. They're like little tiny sporks. That's really cute. I really like these people. They're really, they're really cute. Why can't they be plushies or actual kitchen instruments? And also, I like these birds too. Like, 
They could potentially be like flower birds or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, um, let's see. We have a lava bubble that we can take control of, even though I said they would, I would call them potaboos from now on. Got a potaboo here at Salt Pile Isle. Attention, everyone. This is where you put all your salt. Here's where all the salt of the Mario universe goes. Like, remember that salt back in 2012 when they released two new Super Mario Brothers games in one year? And then afterwards never did it again until the Nintendo Switch with a port of Mario Brothers U? Well, here's your salt. There's your salt. And also, here's the salt for modern Paper Mario fans. For all these years. All the years, a.k.a. from 2013 or 14 or 12 or whatever. All the way through to now. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's see. We have a room up ahead that we can go to. Because, of course, you need 18 moons in order to move on to the next kingdom. Which... I am actually proud to say that we are officially almost done. So, you would expect from the marketing of this place that, um, Luncheon Kingdom, because of the fact that it was shown a little bit early, like, from the very first trailer, it was shown. Like, it would be one of the earlier kingdoms in the game, but no. It's actually one of the later kingdoms, which is very, very surprising. So yeah, you have this challenge right here where you have to use these dashboards to make absolutely sure that ooh, to make absolutely sure that your hat sticks. That's that's what I feel like is a really unique application to uh, like not really unique but a really good application of the uh, cappy mechanic into that one. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. So you have that main moon, but now you have the extra moon, which is over here. Fork flickin' detour it is. And here you go. There it is. Now let me go back to Peronza Plaza. And we shall continue on from there. Which again, marveling marveling at the incredible, incredibly unique design. Just, God, this game, man, this game. If you ever wanted uniqueness out of a uh, old story about Mario rescuing a princess, if you could ever find a more unique Mario game, well, look here. Anyway, gotta go through all these peak stew lava pits. And do this. Uh, let me see. Pretty sure, no, nah, I can't make it from there. Nope, absolutely not. Okay, so you have these cheese rocks here. And yes, the rocks are made out of cheese. Gotta love it. So what do you do? Get a Koopa Troopa with a pan that calls themselves a hammer bro. <laughs> but they're not hammer bros though, they're pan bros. I'm gonna call them pan bros from now on, I'm calling it. I don't care. I love these. <laughs> I love this. Isn't this amazing? <laughs> you can take control of a hammer bro that can, that can throw frying pans. Amazing. Groundbreaking. Awesome. Epic. But of course, I don't want to go just yet because we have a little thing to do. Or rather, a thing that we can do had it not been for a fact that I can just simply jump up here, do the thing, walk the... God. Or maybe I can use the cheese rock. Okay. More techniques. Okay. Go up the cheese rock. Do the thing. Jump at the highest point. Kill the hammer, bro. Be a, be a freaking idiot. 
freaking do it. Okay, we're doing this before we get the moon. We're doing this before we get that moon. I'm doing this. I know this can be done. Because hammer bow's jump is easy. Okay, so you do the thing in which you move. And at the highest point of the regular jump, you jump up, you get rid of the thing. Kill the bro. Let me try it again. Or you rather you just go up here, jump up here, and then there you go. Problem solved. All right. Atop the jutting crag. The crag. That's great. Now I know. I know. I'm. I know. I'm going off detour like a lot. But there's a room up here that you can go to in here. Because again, we're getting power moons along the way. After all. Anyway. You just shake the controller like a madman. Just continuously throw all of this. And make sure, in fact, that you don't uh, really kill the guys. Alright, can I actually do this from over here? Because I don't want to completely destroy the pathway made out of cheese rocks. Can I? Okay, there we go. There it is. Got him. And now for the main moon. You gotta get moon shards, because of course you can. Because of course. And you know what you gotta do. You have to shake the controller like a maniac. Or, you know, you can just press the Y button to do this. You can button mash like I can. And absolutely get everything out of it. <laughs> Honestly, didn't even know you could do that. But, there it is. That's actually a lot easier than uh, shaking the controller, honestly. But now, of course, if I die, then I die. So, whoops. Okay. Uh... I get this, uh... Is there another one over here? Yeah. I was kind of hoping this would be the case. And with that, I think we're just completely free to get that moon. And also to abandon the hammer bro. The pan bro. The chef bro. Yeah, that's my new name for him. Chef bro. Now we can get that moon. Hello. We need that meat up there to finish our stupendous stew, stupendous stew, but I'm sure that crazy bird is going to go after it. What's it covered with? Salt? That's how we treat our meat before dropping it into the stew. Extra tasty. I'm going to give them high-pitched voices because that's how they sound. There we go. Yeah. Freaking cheese rocks! Ah, my laptop! How was that battery? Alright, there we go. Path to the meat plateau. Oh boy. Got a big old pathway up ahead, so let's not waste any time then. So, take control of the potaboo again. And remember, you can only maneuver in areas where there's pink stew. And also, light that candle to get a power move. It's as simple as that. Light the lantern and the small island, because there are no fire bros anywhere. So, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I just killed that guy by accident. Let me get these, uh... Let me get these, uh, purple coin. Right. So, take control of the pan, bro. Or the chef, bro. I'm calling him chef, bro. And, uh, actually. Do that. Use the thing. There we go. 
And uh, why not? We might as well do one more challenge room before we move along with the story stuff. Oh, this one. Okay. So, <laughs> amazingly, the Luncheon Kingdom I remember better than the Seaside Kingdom when it comes to moons. So, you gotta use the Lava Bubble, obviously. And your target shall be over there. Hey, got him. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. That's how you maneuver around a little bit easier. Because those, because those tomatoes, because of those lava tomatoes, I'm calling them. Because of those tomatoes, they can make a molten pathway for you. That puddle technically counts as, you know, lava, so the lava bubble will be able to maneuver around it. Okay. Get that, and get all the coins, because I know I need them. After spending nearly all of them on the hint toad last time. Or well over half of them, and then there you go. There it is. And uh, we're pretty much on lock to get a, uh, to be able to have the minimum for, you know, the next kingdom anyway, so, you know, bonus. And I have a feeling there's a moon in here. I know for a fact that there might be a moon in there under those cheese rocks. I know. Or maybe something entirely different. Or not, okay. I mean, I know that's a way to get to a moon. Not necessarily a way to a moon. Well, yeah, it is a way to a moon, but you know what I mean. You understand my point. Alright, so flick it here. And we're here at the meat plateau. Now, what do you do? Take control of the meat, obviously. Break away at the sand. We were the meat, we saw the meat, we conquered the meat, and we get a multi-moon. Screw those rings. We got blasted all the way back here? That is one angry volcano. And the volcano is still erupting. Oh boy, this can't be good. Next time on Super Mario Odyssey, we are going to do something about that erupting volcano. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching and giving um, um.